Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. Today in this video we are going to see how to automatically share ebooks on receiving Razorpay payment. So here my objective is that whenever a payment is received through Razorpay, then an ebook should be sent via Gmail automatically. And for that, I'm simply going to create a connection between Razorpay and Gmail with the help of Pabli Connect. Pabli Connect works on two principles. First is trigger and second is action. Here my trigger application is Razorpay and my action application is Gmail. To learn how to do this, let me take you to my screen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to send ebook via Gmail automatically whenever a payment is made through Razorpay. And for that, I'm going to use Public Connect, which will help me to automate this entire process. Now, to begin with the process, we are first going to search for pabli.com slash connect. And as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of the software. On my right hand side, you can see two options over here, sign in and sign up free. If you are an existing user, then simply click on sign in. But if you're a new user, then please click on the tab sign up free. It won't take more than two minutes. And yes, you will also get 100 free tasks every month. So I'm simply going to click on sign in as I'm an existing user. And here we have reached all Pabli application page. Now let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. And here we have reached the dashboard of this application and if you want to create a new folder then simply click on this plus icon over here and create a new folder as i want to create a new folder for my new workflow so i'm simply going to click on this and here a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name the workflow so i'm going to name my workflow as razor paid to gmail now let's click on create and as you can see over here that we have successfully created a folder named as Razor Pay to Gmail. After that, again on the right hand side, you can see a tab named as Create Workflow. Let's click on this. And here a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name the workflow. So I'm going to name my workflow as Automatically Share Ebooks on Receiving Razor Pay Payments. And as you can see over here that I have selected the folder named as Razor Pay to Gmail which I have created just now. By clicking on this drop down over here, you will find all the folders which you have created earlier. Now let's click on Create. So as we do that, here we have reached another window which has got us to extremely important events. First is trigger and second is action. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Basically, action here is the response of your trigger application. Now my trigger application is going to be razor pay. Let's click on this. And here we have to select a trigger event. This is the event which will make your workflow start. Let's click on this and here you will find various trigger events but I'm simply going to select payment captured and it says triggers when the status of the payment is changed to captured. Let's select this and as you can see over here that Public Connect has provided us the webhook URL which will act as a bridge between Razor Pay account and our Public Connect account and given below here are the steps to set up this webhook URL. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this webhook URL from here. And here the first step says login into your Razorpay account and navigate to the webhooks section available under settings. So now let me take you to my Razorpay account and this is the dashboard of this application. Now according to the instructions we have to go to accounts and settings. And here in accounts and settings you will find website and app settings and in website and app settings go to webhooks. Click on add new webhook. Paste the webhook URL which is provided us by the Public Connect account and after that we have to select active events. So I'm going to select payment capture and after that click on create webhook and it says webhook saved successfully. And now as you can see over here that it says waiting for webhook response and there is a note that now log into the application where you have added the webhook URL and do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So here my objective is that whenever a new payment is made through Razorpay account then automatically an ebook would be sent via Gmail. And this is the ebook which I want to send on the Gmail. And now to do a test submission, we have to enter all these details over here. So I'm simply going to enter all the dummy details over here. So let's say the first name is dummy. So as you can see over here that I have entered all the dummy details over here. And now I'm going to make a payment of 799. So now let's click on pay rupees 799. And now to make a payment, I'm going to select the card and I'm going to enter the card details over here. So as I've entered the details, I'm going to click on pay now. And after that, I'm going to enter the OTP over here and then click on submit. And it says payment is successful. So we have made a successful payment via Razor Pay. Now let's go back to our Public Connect account and check whether we have received a response or not. 
and as you can see over here that we have successfully received a response first name is dummy last name is user and the email address is dummy user at the rate pabditudes.com and the entity notes course is java for beginners the payment method is card and we have successfully received all the required details over here which means we have successfully set up our trigger application so now my action application is going to be filter let's click on this so I'm taking my action step as filter by Pabli as I want that whenever a payment is made through Razorpay for the course Java for Beginners then automatically the lead should be filtered and now we have to select an action event let's click on this and you will find filter values and it says set filter conditions based on values let's select this and after that click on connect and as you can see over here that we have to select the label and the filter type and the value for the label and I'm going to select my label as payload payment entity notes course as I want that whenever a payment is made for this particular course then it should get filtered automatically and the filter type will be equal to and the value for my label would be java for beginner so I'm copying it from here and after that I'm going to paste it over here and now let's click on save and send test request and as you can see over here that we have received a response and it says the status is success and the message is condition is true which means we have performed the successful step after that I'm going to add another action step by clicking on this plus icon over here and my next action step would be gmail let's click on this as I want to send ebook via gmail and now we have to select an action event let's click on this and here you will find two options send email and custom api request so i'm simply going to select send email and after that click on connect and now to connect our gmail account with our public connect account we need to set up a connection for that i'm simply going to select add new connection but if you have an existing connection please select existing connection after that click on connect with gmail and then select your account and after that allow all the authentications and we have successfully connected our gmail account with our Pabli connect account here we have to enter recipient email address which is required and it says multiple email addresses can be entered as a comma separated list for example like this but right now i'm going to enter a single recipient email address over here and for that i'm going to use a method called as mapping basically mapping means to insert the data from the previous step so i'm going to map the details from the razor pay response and the email address is demuser at the rate pablitudes.com and after that let's move ahead cc and bcc are not required so i'm leaving it empty over here and now we have to enter the sender name and it says enter name of sender email address you can use data transformer with action event as gmail in order to change the language in gmail readable format click here for more information so now let's enter the sender name which would be demo user after that we have to enter the email address over here which is also required and it says enter subject line for email you can use data transformer with action event as gmail in order to change the language in gmail readable format so I'm going to enter my subject line as so I have entered my email subject as your ebook purchase confirmation and download instruction reply to email is not required so I'm leaving it empty and here you have to select the body type of your email content as I want to keep it plain so I've selected plain over here but if you want to select HTML so you can do that now we have to enter the email content over here so I'm going to enter my email content and as you can see over here that I have entered my email content as hello dummy user we are thrilled to inform you that your recent purchase of an ebook has been successfully processed through razor pay as promised your ebook java for beginners is now ready for immediate access we have attached the pdf file of the ebook to this email for your convenience simply click on the attachment to download and start reading thank you once again for choosing us we truly appreciate your support and hope you find our content enriching best regards demo user after that the file name is not required so i'm leaving it empty over here and here we have to enter the public url to be attached so as you can see over here that i've entered the url for my ebook pdf file and as you can see over here that there is an important note you can send only 100 emails per day as per the gmail api for further limits check this now let's click on save and send test request so as you can see over here that we have received a response and the result status is sent so now let's go to our gmail account and check whether we have received a mail or not and as you can see over here that we have successfully received a mail zero minutes ago with the exact subject line and the body content which we have added here in our public connect account 
विच मीन्स वी हैव सक्सेसफुली कनेक्टेड आर रेजर पे अकाउंट विद आर जी मेल नाउ लेट्स गो बैक टू आर पब्लिक कनेक्ट अकाउंट सो एज वी हैव सक्सेसफुली सेट अप आर ट्रिगर एन एक्शन एप्लीकेशन एंड इट वॉज अ सक्सेसफुल वर्क फ्लो सो लेट्स समराइज दिस क्विकली हे माई ट्रिगर एप्लीकेशन इज रेजर पे एंड माई ट्रिगर इवेंट इज पेमेंट कैप्चर्ड हे माई एक्शन एप्लीकेशन इज फिल्ट बाई पैबली एंड माई एक्शन इवेंट इज फिल्ट वैल्यूज हे माई अनदर एक्शन एप्लीकेशन इज जी मेल एंड हे माई एक्शन इवेंट इज सेंड ई मेल एंड इफ यू ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू सेंड एन ई मेल वेन एवर अ पेमेंट इज मेड थ्रू रेजर पे देन सिंपली फॉलो दिस this workflow step by step hope this video was a helpful one thanks for watching not only these applications but you can integrate many other applications with the help of public connect if you have any doubt then you can reach out to us at support at the rate public.com if you want to ask any query then you can reach out to us at forum.public.com if you want to ask any pricing related issue then you can directly reach out to us at this website and if you find this video helpful in any way then do not forget to share it with your friends and please subscribe to our channel to learn more such automations